Hey YouTube, we are back with another Jervy review. This time it is not an AliExpress Jervy, no. This is the real deal Mitchell and Neff Michael Jordan 1992 NBA Finals known as the Shrug Jervy. was purchased directly from the NBA store when it went on sale Wednesday morning. Alright, we're going to come down here. Our hardwood classics, Mitchell and Neff, 9192 Michael Jordan. If you'll notice, compared to the AliExpress jerseys, how much cleaner this is. I mean, it's like just, it's perfect. Uh, the numbers are actually screen printed on, painted on instead of sewn, which is how they actually wore them back in the day. So, it's nice. Here's our Mitchell and Neff tags. Spent $275 on this jersey. I figured since I'm saving so much on the other ones, I might as well treat myself. Here is the black patch that the Bulls wore that season in honor of a Bulls employee that had passed away. Alright, let's turn it over here. All right, and just like the front, we have the 23 painted, screen printed on Jordan and just red. They didn't go to the black outline till I believe it was the next season, 92-93 is when they changed and went with the not only the paint scheme difference, but also went to the jerseys with everything sewn on. Very nice jersey. I don't know if it was worth $275, but I'm new to the real Mitchell and Neff jersey. This is only my second one. I also have the number 45 one. The big difference in this one and the 45 is since everything is screen printed on, it's not nearly as heavy. The 45 jersey is just really heavy. But anyway, it's a really nice jersey. If you're a Jordan fan from back in the day, I would recommend picking one up if you can still get one in your size. The 48, the XL sold out pretty fast. Oh, and one more feature I forgot to show you on the real Mitchell and Ness. They have a tag that shows you when it was manufactured. So, to like, I guess, prove that it's real. I haven't decided whether I'll wear this or not. I mean, it's... It's kind of the double-edged sword. You pay $275 for it. Do you wear it or do you just put it up? Which kind of seems like a waste of money. I don't know. I haven't decided yet. But anyway, thanks for watching. We'll be back soon with a, another review. Probably the cheap jerseys. Alright, thanks.